Hi friends, today we will discuss about ECG leads. So what are these ECG leads? ECG leads are nothing but the electrodes which are connected on a human body surface to record the electric activity of the heart. So we will study what type of leads are there, what are these leads today. So the leads are classified into two types. One is unipolar leads. The other one is bipolar leads. So, the word itself says unipolar lead is nothing but it has one lead, one electrode. The one electrode, uh, the one electrode is a true electrode, the other one is a pseudo electrode. And bipolar lead itself says that it has two uh, true electric poles, one is positive and one is negative. First, we will start up with bipolar leads. These bipolar leads are <coughs> the limb leads, which includes lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3. So, how do we obtain these lead, three leads on a human body? I am going to explain that now. First, let's consider this is a human. And this is the left side. This is the right side. So, first, lead 1 is obtained by connecting the left arm to a positive electrode and right arm to a negative electrode. So lead 2. Lead 2 is obtained by connecting right arm and the left leg. Left leg is connected to a positive electrode and a right arm is connected to a negative electrode. This is lead 2. Lead 3 is obtained by connecting left arm and left leg. In this lead 3, left arm is connected to a negative side and left leg is connected to a positive side of the machine. That is the apparatus which records the electric findings of the heart. So, in this pattern we connect, connect the leads to the human and we obtain the readings in bipolar leads. So, we will discuss now about the unipolar leads. Unipolar leads are again classified into two types. I am going to explain that to you now. And before going to that one, I will tell you something. Unipolar leads includes two types which is chest and the limb leads. But in real life, we connect only 9 leads on the human body and we get reading into 12 leads. So, 3 are like you know, which shows like you know, magnitude of the flow of the electricity. So, I am going to explain unipolar leads now. Unipolar leads are classified into two classes. Unipolar limb leads and unipolar chest leads. So, unipolar limb leads, which are these leads? These unipolar limb leads are the ones which we don't connect really on the human body. That is AVR, AVL, and AVM and the unipolar chest leads are from V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6. So these however we are not gonna connect on the human body. Now let's discuss how these six leads are connected on the human chest. So these are the like one of the confusing which one to place which side that's I'm gonna explain on the diagram now. So these unipolar chest leads first let's draw this let's consider this one is the sternum so this one is the clavicle first rib second rib third fourth fifth and sixth so this is first intracostal space second intracostal space third fourth fifth and sixth intracostal space now before that we have to know three lines in our body one is this is mid clavicular line And 
the other line is anterior axillary line and as our body goes this one curves and gives mid axillary line so the same thing here mid clavicular line anterior axillary and mid axillary so we have how many unipolar chest leads unipolar chest leads are six those are from v1 to v2 so first we'll start from v1 v1 is connected on the right side at the margin of the sternum on the fourth intracostal space this is v1 exactly opposite in the fourth intracostal space on the left side v2 is placed and let's skip v3 let's go to v4 v4 is placed on the mid clavicular line on the left side so here is v4 and let's go to v5 v5 is placed in the anterior axillary line and v6 is placed on the mid axillary line on which intracostal space fifth intracostal space and now the leftover one is v3 v3 is just placed in middle of the v2 and v4 here is v3 is placed and these are the series of chest leads which we connect on the body these are unipolar chest leads thank you